Hey everyone, welcome to your first episode on creating an SDK to work with a database. We're going to be using SQLite and the whole purpose here is to separate our, our database code from our application code. And also it makes it easier for us because if we want to work with the database, we can just call a function such as add book or get book. And we don't have to worry about writing out the SQL code like so. And another benefit is we're no longer going to hard code stuff. We're not going to be like row ID is two. We're going to get that stuff from arguments passed into functions. So if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, then let's just go through how to create something like this. Basically make working with the database a lot easier. So we're going to clear this out completely. We're just starting fresh. Now we are going to use some code that I have up on my GitHub. So the very first thing is we're going to create a file book.py and this is going to contain our book class. We created something very similar to it earlier in the series but if you want the exact code I'm going to be using you can find it here on my github and you can just copy and paste and bring this into your code. So copy this and paste it here. Now whenever we want to use this class in another file all we have to do is say from book import book and then we can create a new book like so. All right, so that is how you create a book object. Now what I want to be able to do is just say something like books SDK dot add book and then just pass in our book object and then what this will do is it'll actually add it to the database. So how are we going to do something like that? And let me just say up front, there's a quadrillion different ways to do this. So if you're looking stuff up online, the examples might be slightly different and also up on my GitHub, I have this code, which we're going to be building it from scratch. But if you need to just kind of see some of it more in face to face, well, you can get it up on here. And I also have some links on just some some decision making that I had to do on how to design this. But yeah, let's just go through it. We're going to create a new file. We're just going to call it books SDK dot PY. And now we can close our Explorer. Now, whenever we're working with a database, we're going to have to open a connection and get that cursor object. And it's also best practice when you're done working with the connection to close it. So I'm going to be doing that every single function in here. And you could maintain that connection if you want, however you want to design it. But essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a function to give us a cursor. And then at the end of each of our functions in this SDK, we're going to close that connection. So what, this is what it's going to look like def cursor we're gonna first import sqlite we're going to say sqlite 3 dot connect pass in a database name we'll just call it books dot db and this is going to be the connection and we can get the cursor on the connection by saying dot cursor and this is the object we need to work with the database so we're just going to return this and then anytime we need a cursor, we can just invoke this function. So an example of how this would work would be like C is cursor. That gives us a cursor object and then we can just say C dot execute. So for example, we can create a table, create table if not exists books. And this is going to have two columns. So we'll have a title, which will be of type text and then pages, which will be an integer. All right, and then whenever you're done and you need to get that connection object to close it, you can actually get that through the cursor because it maintains that connection object through dot connection. And then you can say dot close like so. All of this is going to open a connection, create a table if it doesn't exist, and then close that connection. Now what we can do is we can create some functions in here such as add book, and it's gonna take a book object. We can get a reference to the cursor. And then when we're done, we'll just say c.connection.close. And then in between here is where we can add that book to the database. So we can just say c.execute, insert into books, values. And to properly do this while avoiding SQL injection risk, we put question marks here and then pass in the values afterwards in a tuple. So inside of parentheses, we would say book dot title and book dot pages. Now in order for this file to use the book class like so, we actually need to import it. So we'll say from book import 
book with a capital B there. So let's test out this ad book and just see if we get any errors. We are invoking books SDK, which we need to import. Import books SDK. We're adding a book and passing in a book object. Run it and we're not getting any errors. So in theory it worked and it looks like it did in fact make the books DB file. So we're on the right track. Now another thing we can do is we can actually use the with keyword we talked about a few videos ago and here's what that would look like. We'll go in here and here's what we're gonna say. With C dot connection and then we're going to execute this code. There we go. We can also do a return. So we'll say return and we can say C dot last row ID and that'll give us the ID that was inserted. So let's check it out now. We can take this call and we can actually pass it to a, a print to see if we get an ID back. So running it and we get the value one, awesome. Running it again, we get two and then three and then four. Great, so that is how we create the add book function for our SDK. Now what I wanna do is I wanna retrieve data. So let's go back to our SDK and we're gonna create a new function in here, def, and we'll just call it get books, but we're just gonna get everything. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a cursor object and then with c.connection, c.execute, and what are we gonna execute? We're just going to say, select star from books, like so. And then the last thing we need to do is actually return this data. So we will say return c.fetchall, which will give us a list of tuples which will contain the data. So that'll get us all the data. Let's try it out. Over here in hello.py, we will just say print books SDK dot get books. We don't have to pass anything in. We run it and hey, take a look at that. It gives us a list of books. So it seems to be working. And notice that our calling code is much thinner because we don't have to put any SQL in here. We don't have to even import SQL Lite 3. Everything is done for us by this SDK. Because this SDK is ours and we can fully customize it, we can make it do whatever we want. So for example, if I'm more familiar with working with list of lists inside of our calling code, then I could convert the SDK to return a list of lists. So let's see what that might look like. Well, what we could do is we could just iterate through the return data. So for book in c.execute, what are we gonna do? we're going just to add it to a list of books. So we'll say books, it's an empty list. And then what we can do is we can just append this book to that list. So we'll say books.append and pass in book, but that's still gonna be a tuple, so that's not quite what we want. So we can actually make a list of book objects, which I think is what would be the best. So let's pass this to the book constructor and this is going to take the title, which is the first element, and then the number of pages, which is that second element in there. So index zero and index one. So hopefully I got that set up right. All right, and then instead of saying fetch all, since we're iterating through the data here, we no longer need to fetch that. So we can just say return books. All right, so let's run hello.py and see if it works out. Aha, all right, so let's take a look at this. We got a list, you can see that by the square brackets, and then we have, are you my mother, 72 pages long, like 50 times. The reason we have it in there so many times is because each time we run this, it inserts another one, and we're not using an in-memory database, so it just appends it to whatever the data is already in there. So that's why we just keep getting more and more books in here, but it is working properly. So based on the books class, we have this repr, I don't know, how to pronounce that, but the representation of what the books look like in a list. If we were to cut this and save it and then run hello.py, this is the output we would get, which is still good. I mean, it's working, but it's much nicer to have this output here, which just gives the underscore underscore stir representation for the elements. 
All right, so that is how you create an SDK and how to invoke it. Pretty awesome because we can add a book by an object and we can also get a list of book objects by getting the books here. So very, very cool. There's still a lot we can do, so we're gonna continue this discussion in the next video. Hopefully we'll get into some of the other CRUD operations. And yeah, stay tuned.